Hey y'all, it's Aurelius. With this tool I'm about to show you, you can make videos just like this where I've got the talking head on one side and the other, I'm presenting a presentation, in this case, a pitch deck. What's more, with this tool, you can also change the layout to something like this, or this, or something like this. It's perfect if you wanna create videos such as product demos, pitches, presentations, staff training, video tutorials, online courses, and much more. And the best part about all this is that you don't need to install any type of video recording software or know how to edit videos professionally. Let me show you how in this tutorial. All right, so the very tool you'll need to make videos like the one on the intro is a tool called Teller. If you've been looking for a way to capture your screen and yourself at the same time, Teller can do it, plus give you customization options in terms of different layouts, different background colors. You can even edit your recordings right inside Teller. There's no need to install any software. Teller's free to sign up for for up to 10 videos and you get unlimited recording duration. Everything is stored on the server so you don't need to worry about storage. The caveat is when you export the video, there is a Teller watermark. But if you're looking to level up your videos, then look into the Pro account because you're able to create unlimited videos, 4K exports and no watermarks on your videos too. So the first step is to sign up for an account. Now, once you've signed up, you'll land on your dashboard where you can view the getting started steps, including video tutorials. Down below you see all your recordings. You can record right away by clicking the new video button. You can install the Chrome extension by going to the ellipsis and clicking on install Chrome extension. And then once you're at the Chrome web store, simply install it. Going back to your dashboard, you can create different channels to organize your videos. So if you work with a team, you've got different people working in different departments such as marketing, sales, finance, or whatnot, you can create it here. Or let's say you've got different sides of your business you can also use channels. All right, so now that you're familiar with the dashboard and how it works, let's go ahead and create our first Teller video. We can very well use the Chrome extension by clicking on the Chrome extension and going from there. Otherwise, we can click on new video once we're logged into our Teller account. Let's go ahead and use this feature right here. Click on new video. And now this is a preview and I can see myself, but what we need to do is configure our gear. So things such as our mic, our camera, and the screen that we wanna share. Let's go ahead and configure our camera first. So from the list, I'll select my actual camera that I wanna use, which is my Sony ZV-1 connected via USB. That's much better. And now let's configure our microphone. Let's use my Scarlett Solar USB, which is connected uh, to my Rode Procaster right here. So that's the gear all there. The final thing you wanna configure is your screen. So have that window, that tab open, or your entire screen, whatever it is that you wanna share. I'll click on share screen. I'm going to select a specific Chrome tab in this case and select this presentation uh, demo right here and click on share. This is the screen I wanna share, it's inside Canva. If I go back to the recorder, you can see what's actually going to be recorded. There's also an option to select existing clips from your library and then go from there. But once you're ready to record, hit the record button, making sure that you have, of course, that tab open, have your script ready and you've planned out everything. So I'll go ahead, click on record now. It'll give you three seconds and I'll switch over to the main screen that I wanna share. And now we are recording our video. So this is in Canva. We are doing a demo using Teller. Let's see how this goes as the first clip. To stop my recording, I can either go to stop sharing or I can go to the stop button right here. So I'll click on stop. And here's our first clip. I can play it so you can get a feel for how it looks like and what it sounds like. To the main screen that I wanna share. And now we are recording our video. Pretty cool, right? And everything has already been designed in a way where we've got the layout, we've got the background. Of course, we can change and customize everything from these options on the right. But before we get to that, I wanna show you another option with the Chrome extension. So if you wanna record through the Chrome extension, there are a couple of other options. If you click on the little Teller icon, if you do not see in the toolbar, make sure you enable it by going to the extensions icon and then enabling Teller and that'll appear right here. So it's a more handy in my opinion and that's what I tend to turn to more. And then of course you can configure everything, share a specific tab or screen like this right here and I'll click on start recording, three, two and one. But if I hover over here, there's a little handy toolbar where I can either hide this toolbar, I can even cancel the recording. So I'll zoom in on there so you can see and I can even retry the recording 
starting it from three, two, one again. Uh, let's say you want to, you made a mistake and we'll start again. You can stop the recording and that's the difference between using the little Chrome extension and doing it through your Teller account. But if I stop this recording, you can also record more clips right here before you actually get inside the editor, which is what you're seeing here. But I wanted to share that so you can see the difference between using the Chrome extension and recording via the Teller website. What I'm going to do now is add another clip because I wanna demonstrate a couple of other things in this tutorial. So let's hit on add clip. It'll take you back to the recorder. Now this time I wanna share uh, the same tab, right? So actually let's select this one here, Teller's pricing page and click on share. And that will take you to that specific tab. And I'll click on the record button now. So that looks all good, three, two, one. And now we are recording the pricing page and I have to look at this camera actually. So let's go ahead and stop this now. So we can stop it right here. Now it's added and it's uploading in real time. So there you go, we've got two clips recorded. Each individual clip can be edited with its own customization options. Let's start with the first clip. Let's go and click on trim first because in most cases you'll be cutting the start and the end of your video at the very least. We'll click on trim. At the bottom, you'll see the timeline. You can also see the audio track. To remove the start of your clip, you can very easily just use that scrubber at the very start. And let's say you wanna start it from here. You can do so now if I play it to the main screen that I wanna share. Now, if you made a mistake in between, uh, let's say somewhere here, uh, we can click on split. That splits it and cuts it. There you go. Now. These are treated as individual clips right there. And let's say you want to delete the start, okay, of this, which is, let's play it. Now we are recording our video. So let's say that, and we can simply also just split it right here. And then this part, let's say we no longer need it, we'll delete it, and there we go. So now it'll play from here, we'll play it. But I wanna share, and now this is in Canva, we and there you go. So it doesn't quite make sense, you know, to do this in my case, but it's for demonstration purposes only. I'm also going to do another cut right here. This was a long pause because I had to think of what to show you next. You can see where I'm just thinking and I'll just end it or start it from here, split it and somewhere, uh, you can play it of course to make sure it's accurate, but I'm just going to cut it somewhere here, split it and now we'll delete it. So from here, we'll play it. We'll use the space bar to play it. First clip. I can e To stop my recording, I can either go to stop. You can see I made a little mistake there. So very quickly, I can just edit that out and play it again. First clip. To stop my recording, I can, there you go. Really good. And now we'll click on done. And from here, you can edit the other clips that you've recorded. So this one right here and We'll just leave it as is. We won't cut anything from here. Now let's go and do some customizations starting with the background. So whatever you make changes to, it'll only affect that particular uh, clip. So we'll click the clip, click on background, and you're given a few choices in terms of some of these uh, backgrounds, right? We can choose some of the popular uh, backgrounds here, choose a wallpaper from Unsplash, uh, different textures. You can even choose a custom background, change the to a different gradient, or even upload your own photo. But let's go to image and I'll select one of these really nice gradient <laughs> backgrounds. So something like uh, this, or let's say this one here. That looks pretty cool. I'll leave it as is. And what you can do is apply this background to all of your clips to make it consistent, or you can do it individually. So you can see this clip and this, clip's, uh, this clip differs because I'm using a different background. So let's go ahead and change the background and apply to all clips. Now it's applied. What I can also do is change the layout of this particular clip. So let's go and click on layout and choose from these options so we can have our talking head on the left like so or right or have it overlap a little so that the screen's a bit bigger, appears a bit more clearer or I can have it like that but it's quite small depending on what you wanna share of course. Something like that or the corner or the infamous kind of round circle uh, talking head on the corner, which is what I always do with all my recordings. You can also have it in square, different positions, different shapes and sizes, you can see. So 
feel free to play around with this, personalize it for your own uh, needs for your video. And again, you can apply it to all clips if you like. I like this layout here, so I'll select this because it shows more of my talking head. Below that, you'll see border. This is where you can change the actual border, whether you want it rounded or sharp or squared like this. So we'll click on border and we'll select rounded. That looks pretty nice. We can add a drop shadow below it or disable it like so and the different shadows and strokes that you can select from. So feel free to play around with this as you please, but I'm just going to select this uh, shadow here. The next thing is mirror cam. You can switch between this or this, depending how you want it to look, but this was the right way, okay, originally. Sometimes when you're recording with your webcam, it's the other way, so it's best to uh, correct this. Next is crop screen. We can crop the actual screen, so if we do not wanna show the top toolbar, we can just hide it like so, and that's done. But I'll leave it as is because I've already sized it the way I want. Now, below that, we've got size. We can choose either landscape, portrait, or square. So let's see how square looks like. And there we go. This is handy when posting to different social media platforms. If you want a square, you can download a square version, otherwise select from a portrait or a general landscape version. All right, we've gone over most of the editing options. What I also wanna show you is, let's say you've got another clip, but this time you wanna show just yourself. So how you can do that is simply click on that clip that you wanna change that layout to, click on layout, but this time you scroll down to your full talking head, like so. So that's how you can achieve that full talking head view and then switch it back to your screen. That's the effect that I like to uh, use when recording and publishing my videos. So I'll select that and make sure it's mirror cam. That looks good. All right, so let's now review our video to see how it looks like and how it transitions over from this to my full talking head. So let's go ahead and skip a bit. So somewhere here, because you can see where that next clip starts. We'll click on play, click on stop. And now we are recording the pricing page and I have to look at this camera actually. So let's go ahead and there we go. So that's how you can do the switching. But other than that, you can add more clips. Let's say you forgot to mention something, feel free to record it and then it'll be inside the same project. From here, you can also reorder. So let's say that extra clip that you just added is at the end, you can move it to the start or wherever you want it to go. But once you're done editing, click on finish. Make sure to give your Teller recording a name. I'll just call this Teller Demo. You can add a call to action button by clicking add a button. I'll put in click here, add my URL and click on save. So this way your viewers can see the button right here. Next up with Teller, you can share and download your videos. So sharing is quite simple and self-explanatory. Click on share. You're given a link right here. Click on copy link. And that's the link that you wanna to give to your clients, your students, or whoever it is that you wanna share your video with. To download your video, look on the right and click on download. Depending on the type of account you have, whether it's a free or pro account, you can select export in 4K resolution. You can also download as separate clips. So the two clips that are recorded, it'll be saved in that format and then click on download. All right, and whenever you wanna refer back to your workspace, you can go back to your workspace here and check out all your videos and even go back and edit any of the videos that you've already recorded and click on edit. All right guys, and that's how to create professional looking videos and presentations using Teller. Link to Teller will be in the description box below. So go ahead, sign up and give it a try. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you got value, by all means, give this video a thumbs up. Do stick around to watch these videos next.